This upload contains strong language. Greetings one and all, this is Riddleworks and welcome to my channel with some more Destiny multiplayer PvP gameplay action. Um, this is not a part of the series, I just wanted to make a video about a particular subject that kind of irks me to some degree and I'm sure it irks a lot of other people as well. Now, the subject matter is PSN etiquette, PlayStation Network etiquette. Now. There are millions and millions and millions of gaming channels from around the world that post up different aspects of gaming. Um, some channels dedicate their channels to a particular game, walkthroughs, let's play, tips and tricks, um, genre specific, you know, and even technical aspect of of video uploading and video quality and all those things for audio and video files such as Penby 66 the guy that actually got me involved in this whole thing to begin with so there are many other channels that deal with many different aspects and to that I say vive la difference man you know celebrate the difference that we all have because collectively we all make this whole YouTube gaming experience a wonderful thing I don't care how many subscribers you have you know I mean I don't care how many you don't have you know as long as you have the effort and you show the effort by putting up videos and showing your experience you never know who you can inspire it's like me when I make music you know because I make music I don't know how far my music basically reach I'm not you know in the billboard charts you know I haven't won any Grammys you know I'm not in the national music charts or what have you, but that shouldn't be an inspiration for me to make music. I just make music because I love making music and making the type of music that I love to make. And then when you have somebody in, I don't know, let's say Ecuador or, or Ghana or Brisbane, linking you and letting you know, yeah, I, I bought your latest album or I bought your latest single and I really love it, it's inspired me a whole lot. That is the impetus for you to carry on doing what you're doing because you're connecting with the people. You know, you might not be connecting with thousands and thousands of people, you know, but it's all good and that's what makes the work worthwhile. But the one thing that encompasses the whole YouTube gaming thing, and I don't care what console you're basically playing with, right? There is a network and there is etiquette involved because the type of channel that I make is based on social gaming I love social gaming it's not about look at me do this and look at me do that it's like look at me getting involved with other people playing um, playing video games and you can do the same thing as well there are some people that are not sociable in that respect but anyway I'm kind of digressing but um this video is about PSN etiquette or even the lack of and what inspired me to actually do this video was actually two events that happened within the last week now when it comes to social gaming you're basically getting you know you are prone to getting into other people's space and other people's gaming time and what have you and vice versa so the one rule that I particularly have is never never ever jump into somebody's lobby unannounced or uninvited. I don't care if the lobby is open. I don't care if the lobby is is set to available. Never jump into anybody's lobby because you don't know what they're doing in the lobby. You don't know what what kind of conversation they're basically having if you're even part, should be even party to that conversation. You know, a lot of people basically have their um, parties open and don't even realize they have their parties open. You know, so it's something to basically consider. And I have some friends that I know I can jump into their into their party anytime I want. But I show respect and manners, you know what I mean? Because that's the way I was brought up. And um, one of the situations that basically happened was that I had my um, party open while I was playing Destiny. A game that everybody's playing the fuck out of. 
and everybody's doing their thing i'm doing my thing i'm not bothering nobody then i had somebody literally just get jump into my lobby jump into my fire team and was basically saying yeah yeah what's up what's up we said yeah i've got this i've got this and i've got that yeah take a look at this and take a look at that and i'm saying hold on a second brethren i'm trying i'm trying to basically finish a couple of bounties here yeah 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 but look have a look at this and have a look at that and i thought you know what i can't cuss the brother out you know what i'm saying because I just can't cuss the brother out, so I just kept quiet. I kept quiet. I just kept quiet and just done what I had to basically do. And through his boredom, he left. And as soon as he left, I just locked off my party. And that was more or less that. Haven't played with him since. And another occasion that happened, happened yesterday. It just literally made me turn off my freaking PS4 and charge my controller and watch Downton fucking Abbey. <laughs> Oh God, and here was the situation, right? Okay, now, like I said, Destiny is a game that a whole lot of people's basically playing, right? And everybody's doing their own thing because there's so much to do in the game, everybody's just doing their own thing. They're either doing the co-op, they're either doing um, strike missions, patrol missions, um, crucible, raids, or, you know, raids, if they happen to get it open or whatever. You know, so everybody's doing the holy, but, different things within the game right so anyway I've got a few um, PSN friends who I've more or less linked up with to hook up a clan together but unfortunately um, the clan hasn't really come to any fruition and it's not through anybody's fault it's just through everybody's enjoyment of their game it's through everybody's individual or collective enjoyment of the game they're just doing what they're basically doing they're leveling up and leveling up which is cool i ain't got no problems with that whatsoever you know because it is, it is an engrossing game at times so people can be caught up in the whole the whole rush of the thing right so these guys have more or less leveled up to like level fucking 26 27 and i'm basically still on to fucking level 23 right so anyway i got an invite from them I joined their party and because their party was open one of my friends jumped into the lob into the party and I hadn't spoken to this dude in like freaking months um, his name is Low 454 and we used to play a lot of fight night champion together I mean a whole lot of fight night champion together and he came and he was going yo Riddim what's up what's up Riddim you know and he's got his hip-hop music banging in the background what's up bruh and then I said, look, you know, you know, I apologise to the rest of the guys in, in the party. He said, look, sorry, man. He just jumped into the lobby. He thought, he must have thought it was my lobby, my party or what have you. Um, so I said, yo, Lo, what's up, man? Just doing some of this Destiny stuff, man. Come, get a lot of some Destiny, bro. He goes, yeah, maybe, man. You know, when I get some funds together, blah, de, blah, de, blah. So that was that. So, you know, so he said hi and bye and left. Anyway, um... There was a dude that I didn't recognize in the lobby, right? And no one made any effort to introduce that person to me. Nobody, nobody, you know? And there was permutations of probably, you know, one of my regular brethren who I play with probably didn't even know him either. I don't know, you know what I mean? But I don't think it was really down to him to even introduce me to that guy. But um, all the other three players that was basically there knew that person because I saw that person feature heavily in their parties and in their fire team. So it was down to one of the people basically, you know, introducing me to him. None of them introduced me to him. Anyway, next thing now, one of them, one of my teammates, one of my fire team basically said, oh yeah, we just about nearly finished the raid, um, the, the raid, um, but we need this, we need to do this and we need to do that. And I said, yo, hold up, brethren, I've, I've just about opened up raids, so you're gonna have to be a little bit more gentle with me on that. And this dude came out of nowhere and says, just get your heavy weapons, get your heavy weapons. Yeah, gotta explain this thing again. And I just stopped for freaking two seconds and I thought, what? And then I said to my teammates, you know what? My gun. I'm said, so, and I thought to myself, I am not having this fucking tampon fucking talk to me like he fucking knows me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know the fucking guy. I don't know him to talk to or anything like that. And the thing is, is that nobody fucking made the effort to introduce this guy to me. You know what I mean? He's leveled up to fucking level 27. He ain't appreciating the fact that I've not even fucking leveled up to that. I've had people with no mics fucking 
socialize with me better. So I'm not gonna have that tampon fucking talk to me like I'm a, I'm like I'm a tool or something. You know what I mean? Just because I've not reached your dizzy fucking eyes, you don't need to cut off your own fucking oxygen. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing, right? And he got me so fucking mad. I just I just turned off my freaking PlayStation and decided to watch that and Abby. I practiced that. I just do not freaking engage in <laughs> whatsoever. Doubt and freaking Abby. That's how vexed I was. But anyway, my thing is this. To anybody, if you have a lobby open, right? Just remember that people can basically jump into that shit without fucking warning, without question, without invitation. And the next thing, and it pertains to fucking enemy, enemy, destiny rather, it, it pertains to destiny freaking players and gamers who are high level that continue to play the shit for 24 hours a fucking day. Remember, there are people who have not fucking aspired or not even reached your level, hasn't ascended to your level as yet. You know what I mean? So cut them some fucking slack and stop talking to them like they're fucking tools, man. You know what I mean? Simple as. That's all I'm basically saying. And when I say happy gaming, I don't just say it as a tagline. I say it because I really do mean it. Happy gaming, man. But don't be a happy gamer trying to make me look like a fucking knob because I ain't having it. Fuck all that. Kiss my ass. But anyway, that is that for me. I just needed to put that out because it has to be freaking said. Learn some fucking PSN fucking etiquette, you high level fucking players, man. Simple as. Have some respect for people who are fucking playing the game at least. That wants to fucking play with your ass. So now I don't even have to wonder how come you don't have no fucking friends to play with except the freaking set that you basically have that can't even make up the six to play a fucking raid mission. You know what I'm saying? That's all I've got to basically say. Simple as. Because I'm a social gamer. I like meeting people. I like playing with my PSN friends, my brethren, my bona fide brethren and randoms by equal measure. And I don't treat anybody any freaking different. I talk to them the same. I exercise etiquette, please and fucking thank you. You know what I'm saying? Or may I, can I join your party? Can I join your lobby? Would you like to be a part of my fire team? Do you know what I'm saying? Not just fucking sit in a lobby and have somebody who I don't know come in and then nobody's gonna introduce me to them and then they're gonna be a cunt on top of that? That don't make no sense. <laughs> Makes no sense to me at all. <laughs> I can't believe I watched that and Abby. I just can't believe I watched that and Abby. I had to basically do something out of freaking the norm to just calm my ass down. Cause right now it's like, I can save a whole lot of cuss out time and just fucking switch you off delete your blood clot and I hit that, you know what I'm saying? I have no problems with that, you know what I mean? But some people shouldn't even have a fucking mic if their fucking social skills ain't up to fucking scratch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, that is that. That is all for me for now. And until I catch you guys on the next one, you know the coup. You know the coup. Whatever the console, whatever the game, whatever the format, whatever the genre, and I mean this most sincerely, happy gaming. But don't be a cunt. <laughs> don't be a tampon, mate. Don't be any of those things, man, if you're a high level player. Look, I'm level 25. If I meet a level freaking 16, I'm not gonna behave any way different. They want the help, I give them help. You know what I'm saying? That's it. End of argument. But I'm not going to treat them like they're fucking noobs because they're on that fucking level. You know what I mean? It's not about the level. It's about the person on the fucking controller. Have a little bit more fucking respect for them. You know what I'm saying? We're all human beings, man. You go into a shop. You, you buy something. If the person says 20 cents, 50 cents, and just slam the fucking money down on the counter. Don't give, it, don't give you the change in your hand and don't say fucking thank you. You'll be upset, right? Right. Same principle. Same fucking principle. But anyway, I think I've gone on about this too long. I think I've been Captain Obvious for quite a few aspects of this freaking video. And at the end of the day, it is that. So happy gaming. I truly mean that. It's not just a tagline. Happy gaming. And until I catch you guys on the next one, I got. Watch the ride.